Hey, good afternoon. Chuck here with Apple Drains. Today we're out here in Ocala and what we've got is a French drain, a backyard sump pump, and they say it's not working. So let's go ahead and take a look home behind me back here and let's take a look and see what they've got going on. So what they told me was that back here in the backyard there's a French drain and they said it was installed about seven years ago and over here by these flowers I guess right there there's a sump pump but I don't see any indication of that uh, they did show me some photos well, let me see if we can get those from them but um, of a flood but of course you know looking at a flood doesn't really tell you a whole lot so what we're going to do is explore see if we can find a sump pump and see what's going on because I'm sure that the discharge the pump or the discharge is the problem. So if you do have a sump pump and it has a discharge line, don't forget that you need maintenance on that on that system. Um, it's easy to do. You can do it using a rental machine. You could get a jetter like I've showed you so many other times. This is not a hard project. I found the pump over here. So let's go ahead and open that up and take a look, see what's going on. So it's about 350 feet from this area right here where they say it floods. Um, all the way out to the front swale and I've got plenty of cable Let's go ahead and dig this area up see if we can find a pump um, Some basin or see what they did. They said the company that installed this um, It worked great. It worked really good and then one day it just stopped working um, Which tells me that usually the, the sump pumps bad or that the discharge line that goes all the way around to the front needs a cleaning and this again something you guys can easily do yourselves you can do pull maintenance on the pump that's so easy to do so you can kind of see what's going on here there's a lot of overgrown things here on top of this lid and it's got a lot of ants on there so I usually don't wear gloves but get these gloves on there let's see if we can open this guy up well those ants are everywhere <laughs> so you can kind of see what's happening here we've got the sump pump got the inlet line that's bringing the French drain in right here and pump quit working so what we need to do of course is to replace the pump so let's go ahead and get another pump some tools and we can do that really quick so probably the easiest way to do this is to go ahead and just cut this uh, discharge line. This is inch and a half PVC. And it's got some pressure in it. Let that drain out. Just let that drain out. You know, it only takes a minute. So this line's probably backed up, and that's the problem here, and that's why the pump went bad. But let's cut that off, and we'll pull the pump out. Oh yeah, got a got an old M53. Can you see that? The old Zoller M53. And what we can do is I'm going to replace the pump with the Harbor Freight Drummond, <laughs> the Drummond pump. It's a third of a horsepower, and we'll go ahead and clean this line to make sure that it's in good working order. So somewhere out here, that French drain comes out. I'm gonna run the cable, and it looks like it probably comes out somewhere right out in here. But we'll run that cable down through there and take a look, see what we find. So using our Spartan 1065, the reason I'm gonna use the spring wound cable instead of the jetter is because this line changes, I found it, it changes to three inch just a few feet from here. So let's go ahead and run the 1065 and make sure that line's clean.
this is looking really good I can hear that cable and we've got a great flow coming out it changed over to four inch corrugated I'd like to give them a pop-up but we'll see if they want to do that um, but yeah this is looking really good so the problem with that pump was that this line this is the discharge line blocked up and the pump just burned out um, I guess they've said that was in there about seven years maybe eight years uh, and they just noticed it you know that because the area of the French drain was flooding you know so we came out to take a look easy problem to fix something you guys could easily do yourself okay so I got all the way out to the front and I'm just gonna pull it back real quick okay let's set up this this uh, Drummond this is a Drummond one-third of a horsepower and it's from Harbor Freight and you know what I've tested this pump out it works really good so I would recommend it but the secret is you have to have you have to get can you see that it's green and it's cast iron do not get the stainless steel you'll be sorry if you did <laughs> you gotta have this this is a like a heat sink so the pump doesn't get hot and it lasts so much longer very powerful works really good the other thing that's good about the Zoller is that this port is exactly the same as the M53 the Zoller so we can actually just use this whole piece it's got the check valve I see a pressure relief we just got to seat it in there just right if we can do that it's a pretty easy replacement so the one good thing about switching over to the Drummond is that it's almost identical to the Zoller M53 so we can use this entire this entire assembly we've got inch and a half male threaded adapter then we've got a riser got a check valve check valve. it all works good just that pump went bad or actually I don't know if the pump went bad but we're gonna put a new a new drumming in here anyways just to make sure just tighten this guy down on here usually I don't use a pipe wrench but because we're putting an existing piece on here I will put just a little bit more on it there we go now we just line that up pull off this cord get the cord ready Let me move this pump out of the way. Remember to always hold your pump by the handle. Real important. Set this down in there. We're ready to line that right up. We're gonna use a uh, no hub right here. This is an inch and a half, inch and a half no hub. Hard rubber plastic. And it's held together by the two stainless steel clamps. Slide one side on. Slide the other side on. And we just tighten that right down. Piece of cake. Always make it as tight as your drill can make it. We're ready to test this out. We'll put plug it in and see how well it works. Okay, let's plug this guy in and watch it work. Oh yeah, nice. So we can see that the pit's pretty clean, but I could clean that out too, wouldn't hurt. I'm running water in the French drain as well. You can see it working really good. So we're in good shape here. Let's go check the discharge. So a great project for the do-it-yourselfer, something you can easily do, replace that pump. I even showed you I used a, a Harbor Freight pump. I was pretty impressed with Drummond. Um, they actually do a pretty good job. I, was, I tested one here in my own yard, and I put two or three now out in customers' yards and uh, crawl spaces. 
they work great and I had no problem with them at all. I do recommend the Zoller. Um, it comes with that three year warranty and you know I don't replace very many of them. This one yeah because the discharge line it backed up and that's what happens. You can see the water just had no place to go. Um, cable opened that line up works great. So that was actually a really simple repair something you guys could easily do yourselves and I encourage you to do so. That drum and pump you know is available at Harbor Freight and it works really good. It, it rivals the Zoller M98, uh, Zoller M53, I'm sorry, third of a horsepower. But um, something you guys could easily do. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day. Hey, just a quick reminder, uh, we will be starting the group live help very soon, probably in November. Uh, just been so busy, we do so much work um, and I apologize, haven't been able to make a whole lot of videos. I've been running service calls and the crew, you know, they sometimes they make a video, sometimes they don't. And you can sign up easy. Everyone's invited. It's absolutely free. And I apologize for being so busy and not being able to answer all the emails. I get so many of them. Um, I just don't have enough hours in the day.